Hey guys, it's Landon Blake and Redefine Horizons, and we're going to record another video here in our little set of videos on some simple construction state calcing. If you watch the first two videos, you know that we're doing some pro bono work for a local community garden, and they asked us to come out and stake the location of these planter beds and some sheds. So I've gone in, I created some offset line work so we could do one foot offset stakes on those planter beds. And I went ahead and, and created points, civil 3D points. We did that in the last video. So I finished creating all the stakeout points. I went ahead and imported the site control that we have here right next to the area where we're going to be working because the crews will need that. And what I want to do now is show you how um, I'm just going to clean this drawing up just a little bit so we can plot some exhibits for the field crews. Uh, we want them to be able to have something that shows them the orientation of the planter beds and the point numbers. So that's what we're going to do in this video. So... The very first thing I'm going to do is open my layer dialog here, and we're going to make layer 0 the current layer again. And the reason we're going to do that is we want to turn off our construction calc layer so we don't see that line work. Uh, in this particular case, the crew's not going to need it, and it'll make our drawing a little cleaner. Okay. And I want to bump up the size of these points. I'm not going to be able to, to do it. Yeah, <laughs> that's... That it's, that's at 1 inch equals 10, and you can see that's pretty high. Let's uh, let's go ahead and add an, an, another scale. I'm going to go ahead and add one. I'm going to call it 1 inch equals. I'm going to try 5 feet. That might still be too big. So we're just adding what they call an annotation scale here. Let's see if that's manageable. Yeah, it looks like that might be manageable to me. Okay, so then what you got to do is you just got to come in here and start pulling these aside so that these labels, we're just trying to make the exhibit a little more readable. And I can see that this default point style here uh, does not, is not set up to drag properly. So let me pause the video and see if I can fix that. All right, so I got that fixed, so now we can drag leaders to the left if we need to. Okay, so I'm just going to start moving these labels out so the crew can actually see what they're doing here. Okay, I'm going to try not to move these planner labels if I don't have to. You can see right here, I'm obviously, they're stacking on top of each other, so we're going to have to move some of these. One looks okay. There's no overlap there. So these are okay. These overlap though. Okay, so I don't want to make you guys watch as I do this, but I'm going to go in, clean up these labels. We're just trying to make it something readable for the crew. So I'll go arrange these point labels and I'll come in and we'll show you how we plot this to PDF for the crew. 